I saw something on the screen when I walked by that uh, said sage against the machine. In other words, rage instead of rage against the machine, sage against the machine. Well, in a way that's true, but unless you're born again, you're not going to be a sage. Here's the deal. The reason the machine keeps going and the selfishness, the, the slavery, the abuse, the narcissism, the, the sociopath, psychopath, Jezebel spirit. The reason the machine keeps going is because it's the flesh mind. And it doesn't matter who goes and gets in power. No matter who's in power, no matter who is in power, it's going to be a machine. The only one that's going to be able to stop the machine is Jesus himself. When he rules and reigns for a thousand years. And the glorified saints rule with him as kings and priests. The machine is mankind. God told you in Genesis, Eve is a piece cut off. She represents the flesh mind of Adam. Earthly, fleshly, temporal. She's got the, the, the cycle in her body even. Now the man has cycles in his body, sleep, cycles and health you know all kinds of cycles stuff going on in your body so the only reason uh, Adam was able to wake up to that is uh, he saw all the animals had a had a had an opposite or a companion or whatever you want to call it he saw that the animals there was male and female with the animals so he said I'm I'm missing my other half, you know. And so, Adam rep represents the A.M. Upright. Standing upright. Eve represents the evening. P.M., P.M.S., night. The yin and the yang. So you got Adam... And Eve, the yin and the yang, or the yang and the yin, whichever is first. And so, no matter where you go, in a family, in a, uh, no matter where you go, church, family, business, interacting with people, even inside your, even even inside the individual, the 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 individual human. The flesh versus the spirit, even in the saved person. You got the old Adam and the new Adam. So no matter what you do, where you go, you're going to see that same story playing out. <sighs> when Jesus rules for a thousand years, he's going to rule with a rod of iron. Why? Because the flesh is nothing but sin. The age of grace is over. God still has grace, but the age of the, the church age is over. He leaving the Gentiles back to the Jews. Back to the elect. So you better get saved now in the age of grace, because it's gonna be hard to get saved in the tribulation and millennium. You won't make it most most people won't make it through the tribulation. If you get saved, you get your head cut off. That's why the cartoons, off with their head, off with their head. Anybody speaks truth, they say off with their head because the head points back to Jesus and they want to get rid of Jesus. They want the, the queen beehive, you know, that's what they want. They're trying to bring peace in the world via the queen beehive. That's, that's it in a nutshell, people. They don't want Jesus to rule. They want the hive to be... Uh, ecumenical uh, we are the world uh, movement you know it's really that simple people and so you're always going to have the machine you can rage against the machine but you need to rage against yourself first 
You can be mad against the machine, but you gotta be mad at yourself first. You can be a sage against the machine, but you gotta be a sage in your own self first. But you can't do it without Christ. Everybody's gonna be greedy. Everybody's gonna say, I worked hard for this. I'm gonna hang on to my stuff. I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna, this is mine. They're gonna fight and claw. You see them breaking into people's businesses. They didn't work for it, so they go in and steal. Steal, kill, and destroy. Who still kills and destroy? The devil. What about the, but does he actually do it? No. He has humans doing it. Why? Why are humans still killing and destroying? Because their daddy's the devil. Wisdom's justified over children. Their daddy is the devil. So they're going to steal, kill, and destroy. They're going to lie, gaslight, play games, manipulate, all that stuff. So you can raise a rage against the machine, but you are the machine. You have the flesh. Mind. The flesh body. The world, the flesh, and the prior life is the machine. And until you willing to take up your cross and die daily, you're not going to rage against anything because you can't rage against yourself. And that's the, that's the primary thing right there. To rage against the machine really is to rage against yourself. To rage against the machine is to rage against yourself and say, woe is me, I'm a man of unclean lips and I dwell among a people of unclean lips. That's the only way you're going to rage properly. But most people don't think it's them. They don't think they're, they have the machine built into them. What is the machine? It's the 666 cube flesh mind. What is the cube? Trying to figure it out in your own. It's the snake eating itself. The 666 cube flesh mind is what you're born in, born with. That's it's, it's the human. It's the unregenerate human. And then even after they get saved, they can still be raging against the machine and not see that it's them. And then to love your neighbor as yourself, you first have to say, wait, that used to be me. You can't love your neighbor as yourself. Till you learn to love yourself and you can't love yourself because you're just abusing yourself till you get saved you're going drinking drugging smoking partying you're destroying your own body most of the time and you don't have the power to even love yourself till you get saved how can you love your neighbors yourself but when you see your neighbor it's just an, uh, an old version of yourself. If they're acting stupid, you can love your neighbor. You try to pull them up. He says, uh, you, to the, you that are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, lest you fall into the same temptation. You say, Galatians 6 1. That's the game, people. The machine is you. You have to die daily to, the, to, to affect the machine. you got to die daily wherever you're at. 